Hello everyone, and today I'll be showing you how to use altitude sensors in your builds for more automation. Now, if you haven't already, consider leaving a like or maybe even subscribing. A small percentage of you guys are subscribed to my channel, so consider subscribing if you like my content. And let's start this video. In order to begin, you need to have a program called Auto Hotkey. You won't be able to do anything without this application. After downloading the app, all you have to do is open a new folder. So go to New, go to Auto Hotkey Script, and the file will appear on your monitor. I'm just going to call it some random name i'm just gonna call it random script you can call it anything you want as long as it's not identical to another one that you'll be creating later on in this video now to open the program all you have to do is right click on the auto hockey script and click edit script first things first do not mess with the four lines of code that are already here unless you know what you're doing do not do anything with it and all you have to do is type escape colon colon exit app now what this basically does is tell the program to, well, it stops the program because you do not want a program that cannot end. And after that, you go to the next line, type exclamation point P and colon colon. And basically what this translates to is alt P and the two colons stand for a key bind. So escape is the key bind for exit app and alt P is the key bind for whatever we're going to be typing. So in the next line, you just have to type mouse get pos comma x pos y pos and these you're just setting things up first because what i'm trying to create is a script that detects the pixels in the monitor and tells you what position the cursor's at this is really important to set up for the next script and is really important to how this altitude sensor even works and after that you just type message box and this will give you like a message on the monitor and i guess um just type x percent x pos percent then y percent y pos percent and this gives you the x and y value on the monitor then after that you just type return save the script and run it so when i'm going to run it right now if i press alt p uh, let me go to a specific part of the monitor so Okay, my cursor's right here next to the Among, Among Us icon. If I drag this over here, you can see the coordinates over here. So 177Y134. So let me click OK. And let's find another location. I'm going to put it near this corner over here. And just type Alt-P. And on my other monitor again, I drag this down. 191831. Now that you mention it, I should probably rename this to, let's say... Um, coordinate script to determine the coordinates on the monitor so i'm just going to call it the coordinate script and then press escape so you can cancel the program now the next step requires you to be on plane crazy and this is one of the more important parts so make sure that you are on roblox on plane crazy now that you're on all you have to do is go to your saves just load any creation that you want as long as it has a main pilot seat so i'm just going to be choosing like my first stage rocket booster let's load that in and when i press the play button you can see the numbers on the altitude. And after you have Roblox set up, all you have to do is go to random script, run the script, and remember to activate it, you have to press Alt P. So let me scroll my cursor all the way here. I wanna take a picture of the 400. So I'm just gonna be, make sure it touches the edge for your um, monitor. So I'm just gonna be typing Alt P. I get it here, Y, I mean, X, eight, Y, seven, one, three. I need to write that down. Then after that, go here. And it doesn't matter. Just make sure that it's not like within the altitude thing. So let me put my mouse cursor here, press Alt P again, and I get the coordinates and it's X, a hundred, Y, seven, 46. Remember that my coordinates are going to be really different than yours, depending on your monitor screen and where you put your cursor. So just make sure that you've written down your own coordinates. Now, after that, open a photo editing software. I'm using Photoshop. So what you're going to do is, well, basically, I try to get this number from this image. So what I'm going to do is go to this tool right here it may be different for what um other software that you use but the ultimate goal here is to separate the number 400 from the rest of the image now make sure that this image is smaller than the coordinates that you've picked up otherwise I actually don't know what'll happen, but it's probably going to be bad. So right after that, I'm just going to go to File, Explore as PNG. And after that, on your monitor, create a folder 
called, I'll just call this detection images. And what you're going to do is get that picture that you saved and place it into the folder. So I'm going to do that right now. And now finally, the moment you've been waiting for, we're going to be creating the altitude detection script. So all I have to do is right click, create a new auto hotkey script. I'm just going to call this altitude. Then after that, just go to the edit script. And once again, do not mess with the four lines of code here. Now, because of how this script works, I'm going to have to create a loop so it forever searches for the image until it actually finds it. Then after that, it just disables. So what I'm going to be doing is typing i equals true. And now i is a variable. It's like true or false. So after that, I'm going to go to create g exit app because obviously we need to close the program. And actually, let me call it let me call it P because I find it much easier. You can choose whatever keyboard keybind you want to do. And now begins the fun part. So what I'm going to be doing right now is typing F colon colon. And we are going to be starting our keybind. So I'm going to be typing the brackets. And this is going to be all in one loop. Actually, um, type loop before the brackets. Sorry. So whatever's going to be inside the brackets is part of this loop. So let me type then image search found x found y and make sure to leave these blank. So I believe it's like four commas in between. Then after that type a asterisk 80. Then type c colon slash users and this is for Windows so I don't really have anything for Mac slash then type your username. Obviously, I'm going to keep mine confidential. Slash detection images. Slash. I believe I called it sensor picture. Now, what this code does is search for an image based on the coordinates that you're going to be putting over here. So it's going to be searching for the 400 picture. Now, I mentioned before that there's going to be these coordinates in between these commas. And each stands for a variable. So x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, if you don't know math, don't worry. It's not much of a problem. So basically, the x1 and the y1 are basically the first coordinates that you've written down. So I'm going to be typing 8713, I believe. Then after that, I'm going to be typing 100, 746. So 746 goes there. And what it's now going to do is um, search for that image that I put in that folder based on these coordinates. Sorry, let me remove that X. Actually, let me remove all these. Sorry, I just messed up so bad. If error level equals two. So if they can't find an image at all, it'll sleep zero. So it'll just take zero seconds and it'll continue the process again. And when I type else if error level equals one. Oh wait, level equals one sleep zero. Now these are cases where the image is not found or there's like this mistake in if there's no image at all. I think that's how you explain it. Now after that type else and this is when the condition is met. So when it actually finds the image, put brackets here, it's going to type, let's say, um, I'll just type send e down. So what that does is it'll tell the computer to hold the e button down once it finds the certain image. And I'm going to be typing i equals false. So it'll stop the loop. Then after that add two brackets. Then after that, then after that I'm going to be typing until i equals false. So this still goes with this loop. So I'm basically telling it loop until i equals false. And because i equals false here, it's going to stop the loop once it detects the image. And after that, I just type return, and then I save my script. Now is the time to check the code, so I'm going to be clicking altitude, running the script, and oh, okay, so it looks like we have an error right now, so let me, let me fix that in the script. And I have to add another colon. So like even the slightest mistakes and everything will just go down under. So let me save this thing again. Let me run the script. And it looks like it's doing good. So let me press P to exit out of the app. 
And now let's try it on playing crazy. Okay, guys, I am back on playing crazy. And the first thing that we need to do is obviously build a plane. So I'm just going to be creating this, this random little starter plane. It takes a little effort. So I'm just going to be adding some rudders, other wings. Make sure I have control panels as well. So let me place those. Now, mind you, I don't really care about how this looks like. I just only care that the code works. So it's going to be really crap. And let me get a jet engine. And after that, I need to find some contraption that activates the, you know, the code. So once it detects 400 altitude, it does something. So I'm going to be doing, I guess I can do a piston. Now in the code, I typed um, that the code will press down E once it detects the image. So that's why I'm going to have it at extend E. And let's make sure the distance is at 4 so we can actually see that this thing actually moves. So let me click the main pilot seat, place it down there, and let's actually fly to a decent altitude. Let me go up to 800, stop there, and I'm pretty sure I've coded the script so that the loop starts at F. So once I press F, the image detection starts running. So if I go for a slight dive, and if I start reaching the 400, the piston should pop up and there we go. So like once I reached um, 400, like this actually works. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, that's exciting.